on Lifestyle Expose is your girl Laura and presently with me is the chairman of the Copyright and Society of Nigeria Limited, Chief Okoroji. Hello. Hi Laura. <laughs> <laughs> well, unfortunately today is his birthday and we are going to wish him a happy birthday from Web TV. Happy birthday sir. I'm having <laughs> myself a funky good time. <laughs> eh? We're one of the prettiest women on TV. Can you imagine? Oh, I'm flattered. Oh, B day. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, how are you feeling today? Oh, I'm feeling H A P P Y <laughs> happy. Okay. So what 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 do you have for the people today? Oh no, this is not a day to um, to juggle ideas and intellect and all that. This is a day to have yourself a funky Fun. good time. I'm very yeah. lucky. Is like is aligned with Christmas. Uh, yes, so you know, I'm a Christmas. Uh, I'm a Christmas child. Ooh. You know, I belong to that star that uh, starts the year and ends the year. I'm okay. Capricorn. I'm so proud of it. Yeah. If you are not Capricorn, you don't know what you're missing. What are you trying to say? So we are the Aries, so mm. what should we do? Mm, uh, <laughs> no, it's okay to be an Aryan, but it's better to be Capricornian. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, so let us uh, move on to what, 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 what we came here for today. So tell us. What did you come here for? I thought we came here to have a good time. <laughs> I thought we came here to party. Yeah, we, we came here to yeah. have a good time, and yeah. of course, we are already having that good time. Yeah. But now you're going to tell us what this Coson is all about, and what do you have for 2015? Coson. You know, what Coson is, is captured in our slogan. You know, our very famous slogan, let the music pay, yeah. you know? Uh, we make the music pay, you know? Uh, some people think that music is just about uh, fun and all that. Uh, you call it show business, right? Okay. Right? We deal with the business side of the show, of the show business, right? Mm -hmm. We make sure that all the people who play music, all the people who compose music, who publish music, who record music, you know, make money from the music that, uh, you know, uh, that they work on. That way we deal with the economic side of music and uh, make sure that a country like ours is making quite a lot of money from the music that, uh, you know, that our country produces. That's why our slogan is, let, let the, the music, music pay. pay. Right. Okay, you have been having a lot of, um, I think you, you dragged some people to court because of some stuff. So can you tell us about that? Is it, are you negotiating with them or is this... No, 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 we don't like taking people to court. Everybody seems to think that we like taking people to court. We don't, you know. If people will simply obey the law, we don't have to go to court with anybody. We want to be friends with as many people as possible. Okay. But it's a place where people don't want to pay for the music. They can understand that a house is money. Mm -hmm. That you can't take somebody's house without paying. People can, can figure that out. They can figure out that you can't take somebody's land without paying, or you can't drive away somebody's car without paying, mm -hmm. or you can't take somebody's, uh, even somebody's wife without paying, right? <laughs> <laughs> when they can't understand that you can't use somebody's music without paying, until you take them to court, and they go and hire one very expensive lawyer, and the expensive lawyer looks into the books and says, guy, you know what, something, you ought to have paid. And then they call me in the middle of the night, these are people who wouldn't have called you ordinarily, and they say, ah, oh, but you know, we are friends now. What can we do about this matter? I say, you got to pay, guy. <laughs> <laughs> but ultimately, we resolve the issues. I will shake hands. I will try to be friends. You know, okay. yes, we do. All right. Don't you think that um, the, the, the advent of likes of um, Spin Legs, 960 Music, really mm. curbed piracy in Nigeria music? No, no. We are working through that. You know, uh, we have... Um, uh, a committee we call Digital Music Committee. We're me me meeting with the likes of Spinlet, you know, the telecom companies and all the our lawyers and um, record uh, producers and artists and all that, trying to figure out, you know, what the rules of engagement ought to be. Mm -hmm. Because there is a lot of question right now. Like some people make the music, some people distribute it, and the people who distribute it want to take 80% of the of of the value, and that's not. That's not reasonable. We don't think that's reasonable. So we're working on all these things. And uh, uh, we're looking at 2015, two, uh, 2015, there'll be you know, a new game in town. Because one of the things that's happening is that um, physical carriers of music are going out of fashion. Nobody's buying CDs or DVDs anymore. Everybody's going to go on the, the internet app, or, okay. or use one app or another to download music. So we need to protect that so as to protect those people who make the music in Nigeria and who produce it and who fund it. <laughs> okay, now talk of 2015, I'm going to go. The last time I came here for Kennison Brown Press Conference, and I mm. see how interested you were on these celebrities going into politics. Well, we have the primary um, results out, 
and we saw that just three of them got it. Likes of Desmond Elliott, only one week, and some in the West. Now, can you tell us what do you think these people would, or what change do you think these people would provide come no, 2015? I think we've made our point that we're interested in the policies that are made, okay. the policies and the politics. Whether we do that directly or indirectly, we are going to be interested. You know, uh, we have a voice. Mm -hmm. Our voice is a very powerful voice. Anybody who thinks they can go, get to power and forget the creative people in Nigeria is simply kidding. That's not going to happen. Mm -hmm. You know, we are interested in policies. And right now, it's becoming even more interesting. You know, I was at an event recently, and I told everybody, oil price is going down. Hmm. Nigerian music is going up. Oh. You know, <laughs> if the people in power are smart, mm -hmm. they will know where to concentrate. You know, where, where the policies are important. Because for a long time, we simply depended on oil. Mm -hmm. And oil just uh, halved its price in, in, in a matter of weeks. That's not going to happen to Nigerian intellectual property. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it will continue to go up. So the country needs to begin to invest in its intellectual property. Yeah. Everywhere I go, everybody wants Nigerian music. Everybody wants Nigerian movies. Mm -hmm. Everywhere, everywhere I go. Yeah. That is a lot of money, and Nigeria needs to understand this. Okay, well, over the years, we, we know that the entertainment industry has really added a lot of um, a lot of value to the society in terms of our gross domestic pr um, product, the GDP. But the government just recognized it this year. So what do you have to say about that? You know, some people in government, uh, with all due respect, they are dumb. You know, because uh, this is something I've been talking about for many, many years. I look like a voice in the wilderness, you know, but uh, um, like they say, better late than never, you know. Are they ready to work with us? And if they are ready to work with us, they have to listen to us because, tell you something, we are very smart too. The fact that we play music doesn't mean we are stupid. We are very smart. And some of these people in government, with all due respect, if you put us in the same classroom, we'll beat them. You know, um, we'll, we'll hide them, you know, truly. You know, so they should engage us. We understand this terrain. We understand it very well. And we can make an incredible amount of money for the country, put a lot of our people who are jobless now to work, you know, I mean, good work, you know, um, spread the image of our country around the world. And this is not 419 image, you know, <laughs> right? So I challenge everybody who is in government, and all the people who are trying to go into government, I want to hear what they want to do with the entertainment okay. industry. I'm interested in hearing what they, what they want to do with the entertainment industry. Okay, now I'm going to ask you this personal question. Why mm. did you really focus on copyright? No, because copyright is the basis of, of you know, the, the work that every creative person does. Without copyright, it has nothing. Right? Okay. So if you say you're playing music or you're doing movies or you're writing literature or you're painting or you're doing architecture or you're doing even computer software, mm -hmm. if there is no proper copyright regime, you're not going anywhere. You know, okay. and in the world economy of today and tomorrow, mm -hmm. without mm -hmm. a good copyright regime, the economy will crash. Do we still have that high level of piracy in this country compared to? No, physical piracy has written itself out okay. because uh, technology has changed all of that. In another two, three years, I don't think anybody will be talking about Alaba. Alaba has become extinct, you know, <laughs> not because, the, you know, anybody fought them, because technology fought them. But piracy is moving into a different direction on the net, you know, uh, people using Bluetooth and all the technology oh. that's available. And that's where our, I believe that our concentration should be. Okay, so finally, I'm going to ask you, um, in 2015 and beyond, where do you see the Nigerian movie and music, in fact, the entertainment industry? No, you know, uh, uh, people say the sky is the limit. The sky is not the limit for us. The sky, I believe, is our platform. That's where we take off from, right? There is so much potential. There's so much great music okay. around. <laughs> I was in South Africa for the Channel o Awards, right? And all the South Africans I saw in the place, everybody was just fully Nigerian music and singing Nigerian music everywhere. I've been to Kenya lately, mm -hmm. same thing. I was in Zimbabwe, I was in Tanzania, something in Ghana, in Liberia, something, you know, and you go outside the continent, it is the same thing. So Nigerian music is booming, <laughs> is working tall, right? What we need to do is to make sure that we harness all of this. Everywhere I go, Nigerian music is booming, but you know something? A lot of that is music that's unpaid for, right? I just ask myself, if it was Nigerian oil hmm. that's being sold in Ghana, you know, you know for free, you know, Nigerian oil that's in Liberia, Nigerian oil in South Africa, that nobody's paying for. We'll go to war. It's the same way we ought to go to war for Nigerian intellectual property that has been abused around the world. Well, thank you very much, Chief. 
And of course, um, happy birthday once again. Yes, stay thank days. you, thank you. Bless you, bless you, girl. Bless you, girl. Bless you. <laughs> yes, and we wish you long life, prosperity, and of course, we hope you take us on higher and higher. And the Nigerian, Nigerian entertainment industry. We are industry. going to be yes, flying. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you once again. Thank you. All right, and that'll be all on Lifestyle Expose. You can contact me on lifestyle at webtvng.com or my social media platform, Facebook and Twitter. Till then, to have a pleasant weekend.